right guys, another fruit from Bogota. I'm still saying that wrong, probably. Uh, Colombia. Now this is one that I, uh, I've seen before. I forget the Spanish name for it, but it is a uh, banana passion fruit. So even though it looks kind of like, I don't know, like a long mango uh, at a glance, when you cut this open, this is actually uh, related to passion fruits. And it's, uh, it's quite like soft when you squish it. And uh, it's kind of like furry on the outside, kind of like a, like a peach or something. Check that out, that is really cool looking. Look at that like bright like orange color in there. Definitely uh, a unique uh, fruit, not like typical uh, passion fruits. Definitely has like a, definitely something extra to it. And the smell coming off of it is quite strong and uh, different. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, it's really good, but very unique. It's not like regular passion fruit. It's maybe a little closer to Grandilla. It's full of little black seeds. I've got enough criticism from my past videos about passion fruit that you don't chew the seeds, you just like kind of let them slide down your throat when you're eating it. flavor is like nectarines or peaches. It's got a flavor like that mixed with the Grandilla flavor. A little bit of like a slight melony kind of flavor to it maybe. The closest I can relate it to would be peach. Banana passion fruit juice tastes so much like peaches that I actually had to get it twice. The first place tasted so much like peaches that I thought they were ripping me off and gave me peach juice. But no, it just actually tastes like peaches. The peach kind of flavor. Not exactly like peach, but definitely similar to peaches. It's got like a little bit of a uh, savory, like hearty flavor as well, like tomato. But, uh, in a way that's quite good. It's not like, you know, how tomato is um, treated as a vegetable. This would not be treated as a vegetable. That is really nice. I find the texture of passion fruit um, kind of objectionable, but, you know, when it tastes good like this, I almost like, I don't mind it. And it's really nice. break it down a little bit. The sweetness on this is um, quite low. It's maybe the sweetness of like, a little bit less than an orange. If an orange is like a 4 out of 10, this is like a 3. It does have a sourness to it. Much less sour than a uh, passion fruit. Maybe a little more sour than a uh, grandila. So I'd say like maybe uh, if 10's a lemon, this is probably a like a three. It's a solid three for sweetness and, um, and sourness, but man is that good. I had, like I said in my last video, I've got a bag about like 25 pounds of fruit, and you know, when they taste this good, maybe I'll actually be able to eat it all. That's, that's saying something. <laughs> Okay, I only have one minute, so I have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to this description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you can see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. 
Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should, be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.